Well, when you said it might get some heavy rain today, you sure weren't kidding. My mom and I got stuck out in it. We were soaked. Yeah, and I was sleeping through the morning because, of course, I do. Yeah, he wakes up at like 2 o'clock in the afternoon, but so you missed the whole thing. The heavy rain kept, you know, just running right through the window and the patio yeah. door, and it was it was very heavy. Yeah. I was looking through the streets outside my apartment complex. Man, that, that water was accumulating. So it's a little bit calmer now. Yeah, thankfully. <laughs> Uh, some of us still seeing some raindrops and, and maybe even some brief heavy rain. Still not out of the question for this evening, but not for all of us. Lansing might be in the clear. We have more thunderstorms tomorrow. Okay. So then it's fall. That'll be nice. Big changes on the way. Dry, right? Much drier Perfect. this weekend. I'll, I'll break it down. Have a look. Here's radar now. And putting it into motion, we have had some strong, heavy thunderstorms earlier. None were severe uh, across the northern half of mid-Michigan there over the last six hours, but some were... Uh, packing some strong gusty winds and of course very very heavy rainfall a lot of thunder and lightning in those but uh, we've caught a little bit of a break since now seeing some more thunderstorms firing up and moving right across that Michigan Indiana border creeping into southern mid Michigan. Let's take a closer look. You see that across Coldwater area moving towards Hillsdale and some of those out west have been severe packing strong gusty winds primarily. But of course you see the deep reds on a heavy rainfall and no surprise a lot of lightning activity in these. These are moving eastward at a steady pace. So Hillsdale going to be catching some rain very shortly if you're not already could be very heavy Jackson. No rain yet, but still catching some cloud cover, a little bit darker there. Meanwhile, our East Lansing Sky Cam seeing a little bit more of that sunny side. Zooming out, a lot of rainfall across the northern Great Lakes. That's the warm front. Now we see that cold front out west and that line very well defined. Well, that's moving here for tomorrow. That will bring in our dose of fall weather along with some thunderstorms. So it's all in your weather headlines. Thunderstorms, thunderstorms, thunderstorms. A few maybe this evening still like what we saw on the radar now, but otherwise the rest of the night not going to catch a whole lot more rain. More rain is on the way for Friday, particularly in the daytime, morning and afternoon. Then it's a cooler and much drier weekend. In their future track, there they are. A couple thunderstorms still moving across our southern counties, but the later parts of the evening, we should catch a bit of a break. Just a chance for a pop up shower or storm does still exist late this evening and overnight, but again, a lot of us might stay uh, nice and dry in between. The next real widespread chance for rain Friday morning might be arriving just after the morning commute, but still expect rain through the uh, later parts of the morning and through again a second round in the early to mid afternoon might be a break in between, but we will all be seeing some thunderstorms throughout all of mid Michigan. This is that cold front you see it forming in a line could produce some stronger storms in the eastern half of the state before it finally moves away. Once it's gone, it's gone. We're going to see cloud cover disappear. We're going to see cooler temperatures, lower dew point, much calmer weather all the way through the weekend. You see plenty of sunshine there on Saturday. Low 70s tonight, warm, humid, partly cloudy, which is a chance for an evening storm. Uh, windy conditions will be increasing. It will become increasingly windy all the way through tomorrow. Upper 70s early in the afternoon, thunderstorms in the daytime. It will be a very gusty kind of a day with that front. But then it all changes upper 60s to mid 60s Saturday, plenty of sunshine and then 40s at night, low 70s if we're lucky on Sunday, a couple of 70s next week, but more thunderstorms Tuesday. Look at those 60s. Look at those 40s at night. This is an early fall seven day. Yeah, and those air conditioners might finally get a break. Might need to break out some of the jackets and sweaters. Oh, sweatshirt weather. That's mm -hmm. the best. All right, Dustin, thank you.